Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, the Supreme Court. Well, today's Supreme Court decision leaves many people in mid-Michigan wondering what lies ahead. And Shelby Miller spoke with some of these local experts today about the issue. And Shelby, what did they have to say? Greg, they all agree that today's decision really was surprising. After everything, this really brings up even more questions and uncertainty, like this, if this could affect universities right here in Michigan. Any decision that might be reached by the Supreme Court could be narrowly interpreted to only apply to the University of Texas system or can apply to affirmative action generally. So once again, depending on what direction they decide to go, we'll see. Earlier today, I spoke to representatives from Michigan State University, Central Michigan University, and the University of Michigan, who all say today's decision does not change admission policies in any way. But as Dotson said, who really knows what the future holds? Yeah, and this certainly has been a hot topic for a long time in this state. It'll be interesting to see how 